Well, hello everybody. This video is about adoptive grandparents. So I want to go kind of through it step by step and give you a little behind the scenes or the background. So most of Mary Kay people pretty much across the United States have done this for maybe 15 years. I don't know who started it, but it's been something that we've been doing every single year. And it's really to bless a lot of the residents that are in skilled nursing facilities. So let me just share with you how this is. And some people are doing like my sister has done like maybe 600 last year with that many beds. So these are skilled nursing facilities. They're different than the really nice places where the elderly go. This is, these are government run. The people who are in the skilled nursing facilities usually don't have family or if they have family, they're not in the area or they're not connected with them. And there's no money, meaning the government is paying for them to live until they basically pass away. I mean, that's really the reality to this. And so the adopted grandparent program started so that we could give every elderly resident a Christmas gift and spend some time with them. Well, now things are changed a little bit with the situation in COVID, but it's still a great opportunity to do something. So, you know, we think of that, we do a lot for toys for tots for kids. We do a lot of things differently for different people, but the adopted grandparent was started so that we could do something for the elderly people. So let me tell you, you have to kind of get your things together. First off, go to the dollar store or the dollar tree or the dollar something and get the really pretty red felt stockings. Those are the ones to use. Those are the ones we've always used. They're really great. They're easy. They're usually a dollar. And so we have the stocking, the red stocking. And at the bottom of the stocking, we either put the packaging peanuts or some kind of uh, paper just to fill that bottom part. Then we buy tube socks and you can get tube socks through Walmart or Amazon. You can buy them in bulk. And the reason we do tube socks is because tube socks are used historically in every care facility because of they need that for the, the legs, um, for the restriction on the legs and it's better for their feet. We don't like, I know that sometimes we have the mint bliss and they give away those free socks. Problem with that, those are very slippery. And most of these care facilities usually end up throwing them out because they can't give them to the residents because they'll slide all over the place. So we do the tube socks um, uh, just because that that's what they ask for. So we take the tube socks and, you know, long white tube socks and we roll them up. So you've got the cushion at the bottom and then you roll the tube socks up and then it goes, then you've got like almost, you know, a quarter of the, the stocking. And then what we do is we take out of the box, we take, um, we pretty much take the, the product out of the box or, um, yeah, we'd like the, if you're doing them, depends if you do the hand cream or the body lotion, we try to do unscented. So we've done the body lotion before and a lip, um, protector or the, um, lip, um, balm. We can do that too. We usually do a, a, a hand and a lip balm or a body and a lip balm either way. And we usually take them out of the box or you can keep them in the box either way, but you want to make sure that the lip balm is somehow with that, that double stick tape that you can get the two boxes are together. Otherwise the lip balm gets kind of caught because it's such a small thing in the stocking. So we have the tube and the lip balm, they're together. You can either wrap them together. You can either put a bow around it or something like that. And then we have a stuffed animal sticking at the top of the stocking and it's really, really cute. Um, we do this. And so that's how you put it together. The second thing is you want to call a skilled nursing facility and you want to talk to the um, activities director. So you're going to call up and they're going to say, hi, this is the Sunshine Bright House. And you're going to say, is your activities director there? And they're going to say yes or no. So you get the activities director on and say, my name is Janice and I'm with Mary Kay Cosmetics and our company every year sponsors a skilled nursing care facility and giving you free gifts for all your residents. And they're literally like, are you kidding me? We'd love that. And so, so how many beds do you actually currently have? And the reason I say currently, because it does change as people do pass away, but you want to really do this early on and let them know like that there's 103 or there's 99 or there's 75 or however many there are Just say, great. Well, I'm excited. I'll come in and meet you next week um, and just show you the prototype. And so usually we try and get you to make an appointment and go in and show the stocking. So you can just fill a teddy bear. I mean, a stocking up with a teddy bear at the top and we get the teddy bear also at the dollar store. You guys can order those ahead of time and also have them delivered. And we walk in and say, hi, my name is Janice. Is Susan here? She's the activities director. And then you meet her and that's all great. You show her and she goes, thank you so much. And so normally in a non COVID, we would, we would either go and visit all the residents and we would take some teenagers with us and we'd sing Christmas carols this year. They're letting us bring them in boxes. They're going to spray them with Lysol and hand them out like either individually or if there's a holiday party, they'll do that too. So it is a little bit different, but they're still very grateful because to be honest with you, this might be the only gift that they get. So 
um, we really want to be able to present something nice to them. So what you do then is as a consultant, you want to take a manila envelope here and you're going to print out a picture of the place like sunshine, uh, care facility, and you're going to have this on one side. Okay. And that's because people want to see the care facility they're donating to. Um, on the back side, you're going to use this and this is a sponsor sheet and you're going to put that on the back side here as to how many um, residents they are sponsoring. So you're going to put this in the back of the sheet. So here's the picture of the resident facility and here is the sponsor sheet on the back. Inside the envelope is going to go this and this is their receipt for people who are sponsoring um, a, uh, an elderly person. So we call it adopt a grandparent. Um, and so that when you have these for businesses, it's really great that you can go around and talk to. Um, we always suggest wherever you're doing business or like your favorite restaurant, your doctor, your dentist, all those people usually are looking for donations. Don't wait too long. We've actually had companies and corporations give our consultants a thousand dollars, three thousand. The most we've had is five thousand. That was a huge check from a major corporation. We were like, get out of here. Um, and so they were looking for donating. So it's just different from year to year. A lot of our consultants go back to people that they've had before, like your tax account, insurance people, local businesses. Sometimes the businesses that are directly across the street from the care facility, they're familiar with the care facility or around in the surrounding area. And you can go into the businesses even today and say, hey, we're helping these elderly people out this year. Would you like to sponsor? And they said, what, how much is it? And you know, you can either do 25 or 30 or whatever you have on the letter and let them know, take the prototype with you. And they can either write you a check or whatever. And then you go inside here and you hand them um, their receipt. And this is their receipt that they have there. And then you can put it. Would you like to sponsor three or five? Don't say, would you like to sponsor one? We always say three or five. And that's how we do this. Um, a lot of times what we'll do is we'll go into a place and we'll leave a letter. Here's a copy of a letter that we've used year after year after year. You can change it. And it says, dear friend and our business owners, um, I'm excited to kick this off, what we've done in the past, what the donations are, pictures at the bottom. I'll attach it to the email, but I think that this is a really helpful thing too. So this is really how you do it. And we really look at it as an opportunity to help the elderly during the holidays. Um, it's really a great thing to do. Like I said, I'm not trying to take away from the kids, but we do a lot for kids. But these are people who are literally, this could be their last Christmas. And so it's really a nice thing to do for them. We find that businesses want to help. Um, especially today, they want to help the elderly people too. So I just want you to be able to get your prototype, make sure that you nail the name of the thing, print it and show the picture because people like to know where they're donating. And I think that's good too. And get your sponsor sheet. Other than that, that's all you really need to do. Um, but I would definitely also to uh, give a coupon to all the, the workers at the care facility. Usually there's 15 or 20 workers. You might be able to leave like a coupon. It could be a virtual coupon where they could get $20 in free product when attending any of our virtual events because of this special opportunity. And so this is really funded through the community. A lot of our consultants go through the Chamber of Commerce uh, because there's a lot of businesses in there. You can contact your local chamber and let them know. We've had consultants actually have the Chamber of Commerce post something um, on their chamber newsletter. And so that's also helped too. So all these donations are really, really great. They're very easy to do and it's really a great cause. So I hope that helps you a little bit with your adopted grandparent. All right. Let me know if you have any questions and I know it's going to be great for you all to do this.